Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. So this video is coming. My car is in. Hold on, let's tighten this baby up here. Make sure that's on there and push that down there so you can see me. So this is another Car Chronicles. And we are going to be talking about how to moisturize, fine texture, natural hair, and also relaxed hair. So the moment you say you have a relaxer, most people think that that is damage, 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 and more damage. It's just damaged hair. Relaxing your hair is straight damage. It's not going to um, end well. All these different scenarios about um, relaxers and all of that kind of stuff. So I am here to kind of set the record slightly straight to let people know like, yes, you can have relaxed hair and it be nice and healthy. You can also have natural hair and it be nice and damaged. So there's no um, right or wrong to either or. It's all in what you do with whatever choice you've made. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to adjust this so it doesn't shake while I'm talking to you. There we go. It's all with the choice that you made. So I get the question a lot from those who are fine textured, but low porosity and natural, which is very possible. It is actually something that is very normal. Um, and then I get those questions from my relaxed clients who their hair might not be in the best shape. They might not be taking care of it to the best of their ability. And then they always want to know how can they moisturize without making the hair heavy. That's the kicker. Moisturizing is very easy. How to moisturize and not make the hair so heavy is the next thing. So the first thing people want to do is they jump and they want to get all these oils and they add all these oils to the hair. Not knowing that most oils, well not saying most, some oils penetrate, some oils seal. So if you don't know the difference between the two, you could be adding a sealing oil that is sealing the external layer of the hair, which is the cuticle, the outermost layer of the actual hair, and you're sealing it instead of putting something on it that will penetrate it. So we have developed a line or a we've improved a line that we had before, which was called Elite Silky. Elite Silky is a silky conditioning line, but it is created with relaxed and fine slash medium hair, low porosity and high porosity clients in mind. This system is customizable and we wanted to make it something that was very easy to customize by literally the change of one product, the leave-in conditioner. So a lot of my high porosity babies, goddesses, cannot use our moisture ELT. Why? Because it is a very heavy system and it is made for very resistant, low porosity hair. That's what moisture ELT is made for. On the other hand, we have our Hydra Strength, which is also amazing for my high porosity babies, but the ones who are fine textured, it just doesn't go well. It doesn't work well because Hydra Strength can sometimes come out a little too heavy as well, right? So with that being said, we had our intro, we had introduced uh, last year, sometime last year, our Elite Silky line. And when it came out, it's a great line. Some people loved it. Some people said that it still made the hair feel a little too dry. So we decided that we were going to pull it off the shelves, revamp it, and make it even better. So now we have our Elite Silky line coming back. It will be available for pre-sale on Mother's Day reason being is we're having our mother's day sale which everything will be 40 percent off excluding certain products but this system can be customized so you can get the shampoo the conditioner and the leave-in conditioner where the customization comes in is literally a change in the leave-in conditioner you can either get the water-based leave-in conditioner or the cream-based leave-in conditioner of course the cream based is going to be more for my natural girls the water base is going to be for my relaxed girls. It's just that simple. It is just that simple. Hey, hey, yes, it's just that simple. So it is a fully customizable line and it is catered to those who are low or high porosity and fine textured or relaxed, okay? Someone asks, what is your website where I can order products? So you go to EliteHairCareUSA.com I'm really, really excited about the Silky line because this is also the line that a lot of my stylists can use for your silk pressing. 
everyone's been asking about silk presses, silk presses, silk presses. I need something, especially for those of you who are natural and like to wear your hair straight. This line is going to be bomb. It will allow the hair to be nice and light and airy, but still be moisturized at the same time. Yeah. You, yeah, you see, I know y'all like jumping around like, right, right, right. So yes, that is a part of the Elite Silky line. Now, when it comes on to moisturizing, ladies and ladies and more ladies, and sometimes gentlemen who are looking for their wives, when you are moisturizing, the first key to the moisturizing process is to make sure that the hair is clean. If the hair is dirty and you go and add more product to it, you're only hindering the process even more by building up more and more product on the cuticle. And that is where the problem lies. With fine textured hair and relaxed hair, you don't want anything built up on the cuticle because you can literally feel it. The follicle is lifeless. The hair is lifeless. It just lays down on the head. It has no volume, which with fine textured hair and sometimes medium fine textured hair, you already don't have any volume. So now you look like a wet poodle, okay? I can tell you because I have fine textured hair, so I know the characteristics of it. With fine textured or relaxed hair, you wanna be very careful with how much oil you use, how much product you use. It's very important, and the products have to be somewhat lightweight for them to even work. I have really soft and thin natural hair. What can I use on it? The same line I just said. The silky line is going to be perfect for those of you who are fine textured. For those of you who are slightly uh, more matured in age and your hair is, is thinning of some nature, you also, outside of the hair repair and growth shampoo and conditioner, can take advantage of the Elite Silky. It still is going to condition the hair. And the great thing about Elite Silky is the way that it is des designed with fine textured hair, it is going to absorb the conditioner almost instantly. Almost instantly, the conditioner will be absorbed, period. I used it the other day on my daughters on purpose because I wanted to show you guys how well this product will work. And she is coarse and natural, and it worked very well on her hair. It detangled it, it made it nice and soft, it didn't dry out the hair because typically, with some shampoos and conditioners, it has the ability to dry the hair out even more because it's extracting all of those natural oils. Where all of our shampoos and conditioners are designed now to leave behind some of the natural oils because we don't want to strip the hair of all of its natural oils. And that's where we sometimes go wrong because some of the products that we use are made in certain places or made for a certain demographic those demographics they need their hair to be nice and dry and stripped typically in caucasian based products or products designed for a caucasian person their products their shampoos are typically made to extract everything out of the hair and then they'll add whatever vitamins and nutrients but they don't want to add any emollients because they don't want the hair to get any hard any um any heavier whereas for for African Americans, our texture is different. Same thing with some Puerto Ricans or Spanish. Same thing with some Europeans. Same thing with some Japanese, that kind of thing. Every different culture does it in a different way. Every race does it in a different way. But with African American hair, typically we are looking for that moisture. We are yearning for that moisture and that is what our hair requires. So that is the reason why my line is specifically designed to leave behind a lot of those natural oils instead of extracting them and literally drying the hair out for you to now go back and condition again to reintroduce more it's redundant it's a redundant process so the elite silky is perfect for those of you who are like me you're fine textured you want that moisture but you don't want too much and you want something that's going to be nice and manageable but it will still leave the hair light and airy for your styling purposes going forward and it won't hinder the fact that we already don't have any volume and you want that extra volume so outside of product what are some other ways that you are able to keep your hair moisturized especially for those of you who have fine textured hair or relaxed hair number one heat heat is a big thing if you blow dry a lot if you flat iron a lot if you curl a lot heat elements are there for drying they they dry anything they touch because it's hot if you use a blow dryer you're blow drying the hair so it's going to make it what hot and guess what heat is going to dry anything that it touches 
So I'm not saying you can't use a blow dryer. I'm not saying don't use a flat iron, don't curl your hair. Absolutely not. I can never say that to you, but use it in moderation and do the best you can before you run into a blow dryer. If you have a hooded dryer, try to use diffused heat instead of blow dryer heat. Blow dryer heat is extremely high, whereas diffused heat, it's just like you're air drying, but you have a little bit of heat added to it, if that makes sense, okay? So a hooded dryer, I always really stress hooded dryers because I'm really big on it. I don't even blow dry my clients when they're sopping wet because number one, it can also change the elasticity in the hair. It damages the hair a lot faster because the hair is the most easy or the most susceptible to damage when it's wet. It's the most vulnerable when it's wet. So I try not to use as much heat, which is a big thing. Also with curling irons and flat irons, you're not tempering these irons based on your hair type. And it doesn't always work. Sometimes you need it at that high heat, but if you're doing it every single day, you are hindering the moisture in your hair as well. It is serving as a reversal. It's just drying the hair out more and more. And then you start to notice, you start to notice that your the ends of your hair is fried. Your hair always seems very dry. Some people blow dry so much, their hair changes color. That happens, that happens. So you wanna really use heat in moderation. That is going to assist you in keeping as much moisture as you can in your hair. Second, use treatments that are what we call humectants or have humectants. Humectants are ingredients that, that bring moisture into the hair that add moisture to the hair. But with, let me say this the right way, fine textured and relaxed hair, you have to be very careful with how many humectants you use and the type that it has. Would I use a natural treatment or a natural conditioning treatment that contains honey? No, I wouldn't. Why? Because honey is a humectant and it is going to bring all the moisture to you. Vegetable glycerin is another great humectant that most shampoos or conditioners contain. Ours does contain vegetable glycerin or glycerin in its own form, just not as much. Just not as much. Glycerin is also used to give products slip and also assist in detangling along with some other ingredients. But as I said, you want to try to limit the products that you have that you use that have a lot of humectants and you want to make sure that that product is a um the crazy part is you can kind of tell between one product and the other. A product that's going to be very heavy on the hair is going to be a lot thicker in consistency or viscosity, okay? It is going to be a lot thicker. A product that is not so thick is going to be a little more runny, like the Silky Set is a little more runny, but it's not like water runny. It's just not as thick as it would be like a pudding or a custard where Moisture ELT can be, you no, know, it's almost like a pudding. The, the shampoo is like a gel. That, that's how thick it is because you want that to coat the hair. Whereas with fine textured or um, relaxed hair of any nature, you don't want it to coat the strand too much because now it's gonna sit on the strand and make it heavy, okay? So those two areas are very important when it comes on to maintaining the moisture in your hair. Lastly, you wanna make sure that your finishing products and your aftercare products are on point. If you are not using a leave-in conditioner, which I don't know why you're not using a leave-in conditioner, I definitely can stress that leave-in conditioners are very important in the shampoo or wash day process. Leave-in conditioners are very, very important in the wash day process, okay? Also, you wanna make sure that that leave-in conditioner is based on your hair type. Typically for natural hair, natural low porosity hair, which is typically like in the fours, um, kind of the threes, typically you want to use a gel, I'm um, not gel, a cream slash oil based leave-in conditioner. For those who are in the early threes and twos, you typically want to use, uh, you can use a light cream based leave-in conditioner or a water-based leave-in conditioner or a conjunction of the two. Fine textured hair, relaxed hair, uh, typically you're a number one or maybe a 2A, you would then use a water-based leave-in conditioner because you don't want something that's going to be too heavy and when it coats the strand, it sits on the strand. Lastly, be sure that if you are using um, a lot of like, like our hair repair and growth balm, if you're using that, you wanna make sure that you put that on the scalp only, not on the hair. The hair does not need oil. The scalp needs the oil and it carries the nourishment to the follicle. 
once you put it on it is going to distribute throughout the day so you don't actually have to add more to the hair all you're doing is weighing the hair down and putting something on the hair that's not really required okay so you want to just make sure that if you are going to be using things like the growth balm or um anything like the um what else moisture eel tea or even if you're using our kids line on your hair because i know a lot of people like to use the kids line on their hair even the balm for the kids line it's heavy it's heavy on purpose it is made to coat the scalp the scalp okay so keep that in mind the scalp area that is very important okay so I hope all the information that I gave you guys, that you guys might have get a, got a chance to write it down. This video will be saved. I wanna make sure that I save this video because I know a lot of you like to go back and get the information. So this video will be saved on my channel for you to watch. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up this live. A lot of you are on now. There's over a hundred people on here. And if I could get everybody to close their chats and go and thumbs up this live right now so we can get over a hundred likes or thumbs up i would really really appreciate it make it a habit guys when you come into the lives come in with the um, the mindset let me go ahead and thumbs up right away the reason why the thumbs up are really important is because it tells youtube to rank me and that my channel is stuff that they want I, that people want to see and they'll continue to push my channel to other people this is what also motivates me to do more q a's to do more lives to come and talk to you guys and give you guys all of this good information a g r l we are working on the stylist page where you'll be able to get stylist size products yes you will be able to get stylist size products very soon working on that working on that um outside of that some other updates uh okay outside of that some other updates is um the silky line will be available for pre-sale during the mother's day sale the mother's day sale is 40 percent off everything excluding kits um, the Radiant Glow Line and masks and sanitizers will not be included in that. Uh, another update, we do have more masks. We do have more sanitizers in stock. Um, and then we will have more Radiant Glow Cream in stock. And then we have a new addition to the Radiant Glow Line, which is the Radiant Glow Intimate Care Line, where you'll be able to um, get rid of those dark spots in between the thighs, the scars, the bikini line. So the Radiant Glow Intimate Area Cream will be available um, for Mother's Day sale as well for pre-sale. And we have all, uh, we're gonna actually start sending out the Radiant Glow line, even though we said for pre-sale, it wouldn't go out until the 10th. We're gonna start sending some of those orders out. We were able to get um, the labels um, sourced locally and get those printed so we can get those labels out. So a lot of those orders will begin going out if it contains products that are already in stock. Outside of that, we are working to get a lot of orders out this week. Some of you already got your tracking numbers on, yeah, on Sunday. Some people got theirs on Sunday or Saturday. No, some people got their tracking numbers on Saturday, but you can't track it until today. Of course, the post office is closed at nine o'clock at night. I actually went into work on Saturday night on saturday night and processed orders myself because we're trying to make sure that we get as many orders out the door as possible and get very caught up because the last sale really threw us behind and we don't want to go into another sale and still be behind on other orders so we are working on all of that all of that so thank you to each and every one of you who have been so patient with us we only fell about two days outside of the regular processing which was seven to ten days which is actually not bad but I'm one of those people where I don't want to see people's orders sitting around and not being, you know, not being proactive. Um, outside of that, I think that's really it. Oh, update. This is the last little spot left on my face. And then I filmed a video. This spot right here, this spot right here was a pimple as of yesterday. It was a pimple coming as of yesterday. And I started putting, okay. And I started putting the Radiant Glow Cream and I also used the soap on it. And literally that baby has gone down to flat skin. I can still see the little dot, but it's not even raised anymore. This was yesterday. Do you hear me? This was yesterday. I was like, whoa. 
and I filmed the video with it too. So you guys will get to see the video that I made. I'm gonna actually upload the video. I did the video last night and I pointed out the spot last night. And this was the nighttime routine video that I was doing. This morning I said, well, let me go ahead and do a daytime routine. And as I go to rub on my face and cleanse my face, I'm like, holy fuck, the bump is gone. So I recorded both the morning and the nighttime and they're literally last night and this morning and I did the voiceover for last night. Now I gotta do the voiceover for this morning because I wasn't expecting to do one this morning, but I was like, cluster shit, it's gone. <laughs> I know I sound crazy, but I was like, it literally, the bump is gone. I was so amazed, okay? So I'm gonna put that video up later today. I just have to do the voiceover for this morning because I didn't plan to do a morning routine. I already have done the morning routine a couple of times, but when I saw that, I was like, oh, hell. I gotta do one now. I gotta do one so people can literally see literally last night and this morning, not even 12 hours apart. Not even 12 hours apart. Um. Uh, let me see. I think someone had asked a question. The website is EliteHairCareUSA.com. So it's my YouTube channel name, all one word, dot com. Yep. I want to have you take care of my hair. No problem. Miss you all. Uh, can't wait for things to get back to normal. Absolutely. I can't wait either, Miss Shirley. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, but yeah, so that is the updates as I was saying, but I hope this video was of some balance and some, in, some good information for you. I will save it on the channel so you guys are able to go back and watch it and take notes if you need to. Outside of that, I hope everybody has an amazing day. Enjoy your Monday. I started my Monday out with my workout and our, our Elite Total Body Care group. And everybody else is in there doing their workout so i'm really really excited so if you haven't joined the total body care group make sure you join all you have to do is go to facebook and find elite total body care that's it and then you can ask to join and we will add you to the group it is a free group it's a private group and we all get to talk and you know basically just fellowship with each other fellowship with each other give each other good advice we ask questions things that are kind of controversial questions but it's a small group so yep thank you deb elite total body care on facebook yes you'll see it it has a picture of four women all different sizes so you'll be able to see that but i hope everybody as i said have an amazing day and thanks for watching